Okay. So, today we will discuss a few important limits and the ratio test, but before this let us start with the previous thing we were discussing about the monotone sequence. There are two types of monotone sequence one is that uh, non decreasing sequence and the other one is the non increasing sequence and when this non increasing all non decreasing sequence are bounded say in increasing sequence or non decreasing sequence which are bounded above or the non increasing sequence which is bounded below then such a sequence monotone sequence will always be convergent and I think the proof is uh, very simple we can use it with the help of our cuts rational cut that is uh, the result is uh, every bounded monotone sequence monotone sequence of real numbers of real numbers is convergent. So, we will use this result. Uh, the proof is just based on this to show the proof of this we will develop the two class defined or construct L and R classes as follows. L means lower class and R is the upper class. So, the number x is put in the class. So, L is the set of those reals such that x is less than a n uh, from and after some n for all n greater than equal to say n naught after certain stage we are taking and r is the set of those real numbers reals uh, such that x n is greater than a n for all values of n. We are taking this. So, let a n be a sequence which is a real sequence a n is a monotone sequence is a monotone sequence okay monotone sequence which is bounded above bounded below so when you take this uh, we are getting this in number a uh, ans so what a1 a2 ans these are the numbers like this so set of those real numbers which are less than an for n greater than n not it means the, these are the points which are less than and so on and the set of those real number which are greater than a n s will be put it in the upper class lower ok. So, it will converge from here ok it will converge to x lower limit it will go to the upper uh, a n s will be bounded by x. So, we get the, the is, um, for all n, not, n, not, not for all n uh, for all n ok it means after certain is say all the terms are x is greater than all n's ok. So, those real numbers are there. So, it means lower class may have a some greatest uh, upper least number, but uh, uh, greatest upper bound, but this cannot have this may not have it the least number like this. So, this way. So, if you take the n's to be bounded sequence, if sequence n is bounded above say monotone sequence which is bounded above it means a 1 is less than a 2 less than or equal to non uh, decreasing sequence which is bounded by say k for each n. So, limit of a n as n will be less than or equal to k like this similarly if it is of this type and it each term is greater than or equal to k then the limit of this a n s as n will be greater than or equal to small k is you know all the terms will be like. So, it will be bounded. So, it means every bounded monotone sequence of real number is a convergent sequence. So, using this here we will drive few uh, uh, we will discuss some limits which are useful in. So, let us see the sum limits. Okay. The first one very simple is 
if suppose a n is a sequence which is n to the power p a sequence of real number where p is uh, a positive or negative rational numbers rational numbers then limit of this sequence a n as n tends to infinity will be if p is positive the limit will come out to be plus infinity is it not that is because as n increases it unbounded sequence and so it is plus infinity when p is negative then the limit will come out to be zero it will tends to zero okay so when p is this and less than zero we are getting them and when uh, p is zero then the limit will come out to be one so it's simple that it's nothing to prove just then another sequence suppose a n is x to the power p where x is any real number real number x is any real number x to the power uh, n n so let it be n okay x to the power n clear that is a n x to the power n given now this a n will go to plus infinity if x is greater than 1 because x is greater than 1 each term of the sequence is greater than 1 and in fact it keeps on increasing so increases to infinity so then and when it x lying between minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 it means mod of <coughs> x is less is strictly less than 1 that is mod of x is strictly less than 1 absolute value of this is less than 1 then in that case <coughs> this sequence will keep on decreasing and decreases to 0 and when x is equal to 1 the limit is tending to 1 <coughs> what happened to that when x is strictly less than minus 1 when x is strictly less than minus 1 or when x is equal to 1 minus 1 when x is equal to minus 1 it is basically of the form minus 1 to the power n so this is an oscillatory oscillatory finite series oscillatory finite because the limit will uh, it will go to plus 1 minus 1 like this so mod of a this thing is bounded but if an x is strictly less than minus 2 then it is it is a oscillatory infinite in it, is it not it will go oscillatory infinite plus infinity minus infinity it will go so we get this okay then third limits if a n be suppose x to the power 1 by n where x is positive x is positive now when x is positive and n is any integer n is any integer then what happens that when x is greater than 1 each term of the sequence is greater than 1 so when x is greater than 1 the terms of the sequence the terms of the sequence terms of the sequence sequence is that is 1 x x to the power half x to the power one third and so on these are satisfying this point x is greater than this x to the power half is greater than this is greater than this and all the terms are greater than 1 it means it is a monotonic decreasing sequence bounded below is it not so it is a so it is 
a monotonic decreasing strictly decreasing decreasing sequence which is bounded below bounded below monotonic decreasing sequence bounded below so it must have a some limit because every bounded sequence is limit so it will have it will have the limit it will have some limit say l and this limit therefore l will be either greater than or equal to 1 l will be either greater than 1 or equal to 1 suppose l is uh, l is suppose L is strictly greater than 1. Suppose we say, okay, then what happens this? That is x to the power 1 by n, limit of this x to the power 1 by n, this limit uh, as n tends to infinity tends to L which is greater than 1. So, that is only possible when x to the power 1 by n should be strictly greater than 1 for all n. Okay. Now, this shows that x must be x must be greater than l to the power n is it not limited x to the and this is true for all x but when l is greater than 1 l is greater than 1 then this is not true for all x this should be this should be true for all x which gives a contradiction, which gives a contradiction. Why contradiction? Because for given x, for given x, one can find n not such that x will be strictly less than l to the power n for n greater than n naught because this keeps on increasing right hand side is keeps on increasing but the left hand side is fixed once you choose the x left hand side is fixed and what we are saying that if limit of this is suppose l which is strictly greater than 1 it means for large values of n or when x what is the behavior of a? x will be exceeding l to the power n is it not it will be greater than l to the, then it will goes on decreasing and decreases say something like that. but here is give leads to a contradiction once you fix up the x and since l is greater than 1 so when n is sufficiently large this will go keep on increasing so a number n naught can be obtained so that x can be made as uh, it can be made less than the term l to the power one after certain stage and its contradiction is because of a wrong assumption that l is greater than 1 therefore l must be equal to 1 is this clear? So, what we conclude is that limit of this therefore, limit of x to the power 1 by n when n is sufficiently large is 1 when x is greater than 1 for x greater than 1. Okay. And for x equal to 1 already true for x equal to 1 also it is true. So, let us now if x is is strictly less than 1 is it not then x we are choosing positive remember this is x is a positive so we cannot choose the minus or something x is positive greater than 0 so if 0 less than x less than this then then what happens to this l limit is there is it not so we can get a contradiction here again because x is less than 1 x is less than 1 and we are choosing the limit l because if x is less than 1 what is the behavior of this sequence yeah if x is less than 1 the terms of this sequence this sequence will be what it keeps on increasing this keeps on increasing is it not so then 
x is less than x less to the power half less than x to the zero point and so on if x is less than 1 ok x is less than 1 so what happen is increasing function of this ok and then what if when x is equal to 1 but it is always be less than 1 and less than 1 so when you take the limit of this limit of this x to the power 1 by n is suppose capital L which is less than or equal to 1. Uh -huh. But again contradiction if L is strictly less than 1 we get a contradiction in a similar way in similar way therefore L must be 1. So, what we conclude is that limit of this therefore limit of x to the power 1 by n when n is tends to 1 is always 1 for x greater than 0. x negative is not defined so that is why we are not choosing because x is negative the roots are not reals so we cannot get it. So, this one now if we take this is our fourth problem limits suppose we take a n to be n raised to the power 1 by n. <laughs> now, we claim that limit of this sequence is a, we claim that limit of this a n as n tends to infinity is 1. As n is sufficiently large, this basically tends to like this. Okay? So, how to justify limit to be 1? So, first what we will show eh, that this sequence is a monotone sequence. Okay. If we prove it is a monotone decreasing or increasing, okay. if increasing bounded above, it is decreasing then it is bounded below, then it limit will exist. So, first is we um, uh, claim this, uh, further the sequence n to the power 1 by n is and monotone decreasing sequence is a monotone tone decreasing sequence. Monotone decreasing sequence. Why? This is our claim because suppose it is two, then n plus one to the power one by n, because suppose it is two suppose it hold then it means that is this is should be less than n to the power 1 by n as n increases it decreases. So, we claim that this is a decreasing sequence monotone decreasing Sir, n, plus one, the power n plus 1 n plus 1 exactly. So, we are getting this. So, what we get is n plus 1 to the power n is less than n to the power n plus 1. Okay. Now, this is equal to when you divide by n, then we get 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is less than n, is less than n. Now, this is true, this is true for n greater than or equal to 3. As n is sufficiently large, for n is equal to 1 and 2, it, may not, it will not be true. But when n is greater than or equal to 3, it holds. The reason is because 1 plus 1 by n to the power n apply the binomial, binomial expansion. So, 1 plus n x plus n n minus 1 over factorial 2 and plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 over factorial 3 like this. So, so suppose I apply the uh, factorial then what will be this uh, say last uh, term up to n term then we get 1 by n to the power n clear just like 1 plus n x plus n n minus 1 and so on ok just binomial ok. Now, this will be equal to what 1 plus 1 plus uh, 
1 by no 1 by n square will also come n n minus 1 factor 2 into x square. So, 1 by x square this is 1 by n cube and so on. So, n gets cancelled we get 1 minus 1 by n by factorial 2 then 1 by factorial 3 1 minus n my n n minus 1 1 minus 1 by n 1 minus 2 by n n like this up to so on ok. Now, you see this each term is positive each term is positive. So, the sequence so the sequence 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is a monotonic monotonic increasing sequence. of years because when n increases the terms increases here. So, and if this is positive this is positive. So, you are adding some positive terms here again. So, it is a monotonic increasing sequence further the this sequence all the for all n this at least greater than 2 because these are positive things ok, but this sequence further 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is strictly less than 1 plus 1 plus 1 by factorial 2 1 by factorial 3 plus 1 by factorial n is it not that will be and this is uh, uh, last term n to the ok clear that will be factorial n. So, this one now this will be further less than uh, this is further less than 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 and so on oh sorry 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 cube and so on like this. So, it is 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 because factorial 2 is get all is equal to 2 basically ok. So, 1 so first term is addition factorial 3 is get all than 2 square. So, 1 by factorial 3 is less than 2 square 1 by factorial 4 is less than 1 by 2 cube 1 by factorial n less than 2 to the power n minus 1. Now, this is a geometric series. So, what is the sum of this geometric series is 3 less than a over 1 minus so it is less than 3 ok is it ok one minute. So, this uh, it means this is a monotonic increasing sequence of real number which is dominated by 3 bounded by 3. So, it must be a convergence sequence and limit of this cannot exceed by 3 and will always be strictly greater than 2 at the most it may be 3. So, limit of this a n. So, limit of this. So, sequence 1 plus 1 by n to the power n will have will have limit will have limit lying between 2 and 3 ok and in fact we denote its limit by and it was shown later it will be shown that limit of this as n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n to the power 1 e where e lies between 2 and 3 and it is irrational number 2.7 something like that. So, this is so this will be the limit. Now, here we are discussing about this part we are it is given the n to the power 1 we are interested in finding the limit of this. Now, what we claim this sequence is a monotonic decreasing sequence which is already proved when n is sufficiently large greater this is a monotonic decreasing sequence monotonic, but each term of this sequence is greater than 1 all equal to 1 because n is 1. So, it is a monotonic decreasing sequence uh, is it not and each term uh, is greater than or equal to 1. So, now, so since n to the power 1 by n is a monotonic 
decreasing monotonic in uh, sorry it is a monotonic yeah this sequence is monotonic in decreasing is it not decreasing sequence decreasing sequence, which is bounded below by 1 is it not because n to the power 1 by n is greater than equal to 1 at least for when n is equal to 1 you get 1 ok n is 1 you get 1 2 it is greater than 1 is it not so it is monotonic decreasing sequence uh, after 3 it is there is it not n to the power 1 by n because this is 2 for n is greater than equal to 3 so after 3 this is decreasing sequence but all the terms will definitely get greater than 1 did you get or not but uh, you cannot say when n is equal to 1 and 2 you cannot say that n is equal to 1 uh, um, rather than uh, n equal to 2 it is greater than 1 when when n equal to 3 onward it decreases for n is equal to 1 and 2 it increases clear but when n is 3 onward it decreases so it is just like this it gears like this and then decreases okay so this is one this is one and here is something 2 to the power under root and then it keeps on decreasing and decreases to basically again 1 like this ok. So, this is a therefore, the limit of this sequence a n when you say limit of uh, n exists and we get the limit to be 1 limit of n to the power 1 by n when n tends to is suppose n ok we get limit now this limit is greater than or equal to 1 is it ok now we claim l cannot be greater than 1 now if l is greater than 1 then again we lead a contradiction then we get a contradiction why because n is greater than l to the power n l is greater than 1 so not possible not possible for n greater than equal to 3 ok 3 cannot be greater than some number power 3 ok so that will be more suppose l is equal to 2 then what happened 3 cannot be greater than 2 to the power 3 so it is contrary therefore l must be 1 so limit of this n to the power 1 by n over n is 1 ok that is also interesting limit then <coughs> another limit is a n s are suppose we have a sequence which in the form of say series 1 plus 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by n first n terms of this series some series there first n terms is denoted by n now limit of this a n s when you take the limit of this n we say it will not exist limit of limit of a n s when n tends to will be plus infinity this is to be proved ok limit of this will be 2 now how to show this part again we will justify it by our what is our a 4 a 4 is 1 plus half 1 third 1 fourth ok now this will be greater than 1 plus half plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth that is equal to 1 plus half plus half that is equal to 2 1 third is uh, greater than 1 by 4 is it not so this is then a 8 a 8 will be 1 by 8 now this is greater than 1 uh, this part 2 plus first fold 1 plus half 1 by 4 1 by 4 ok and then 1 by 5 onward you write 1 by 8 1 by 8 so what happen is this is get equal to 
what? 2 plus 4 by 8, 4 by 8 means half that is equal to 5 by 2. So, increasing ok. It means this is a square, this is a 2 q ok. So, if we take a 16 that is a 2 to the power 4, then we get this is equal to 1 plus half plus 1 by 16, it is greater than 5 by 2 plus 1 by 16, 1 by 16 up to 1 by 16 means up to here 8 terms and then this 8 terms. So, it is equal to 5 by 2 plus half that is 3 ok. So, like this and continue this process then what we get it that there is <laughs> if I take a to the power 2 m then we can say that this number is greater than 2 plus half m minus 2 that is equal to half m plus 2. We satisfy this condition you just see m is here 2. So, this can be written as 2 plus 2 minus 2 0. So, this is satisfied m is equal to 3. So, 3 minus 2 half this is satisfied m equal to 4. So, this will be 4 minus 2 by 2 that is 3 and continue. So, what we say is that this sequence keeps on increasing increasing. So, the sequence a n s is an increasing sequence increasing sequence which is unbounded. So, the limit of this and limit of this sequence a n as n tends to infinity it tends to plus infinity. This is known as the harmonic series basically this will be known as the harmonic series. Now, next is suppose we have a sequence a n is 1 minus half plus 1 third minus 1 by 4 and so on plus minus 1 to the power n minus 1 by n alternate positive negative terms. We claim the series this sequence converges alternate positive negative terms this will convert how a 2 n even number terms this is 1 minus half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth and so on and last term is n is even n is even so n minus 1 becomes odd so you minus 1 by 2 n ok. Now, this we can write it like this 1 minus half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth and then plus 1 by 2 n minus 1 1 minus combine this because these are even numbers. So, we can make the pair now each one is positive each one is positive 1 minus. So, the sequence of even terms some of the even terms comes out to be greater than 0 ok is it ok and then this can also be written like this 1 minus half minus 1 third minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 and so on and last term will be 1 by 2 n. Now, these terms are positive this is positive. So, you are subtracting a positive quantity from 1. So, it will be strictly less than 1 is it not. It means the sequence a to n when n is even a n when n is even is a sequence of positive terms and upper bounded is and not only this it is an increasing sequence monotonic increasing because when n increases support 2 n plus 2 one more term will come here which becomes positive. So, this shows the sequence a 2 n is a monotonic monotonic increasing sequence increasing sequence which is bounded above by 1 which is bounded above by 1 is it not. Now, if I take the odd sequence, so it must be convergent. So, it will should be convergent 
and once it is convergent the limit it will send to a limit so we get a limit okay acha now take the a o terms now if you go for the o terms a 2n plus 1 then what we get from here 1 minus half minus 1/3 minus 1/4 minus 1/5 and so on and then we get minus 2n minus something like 2n plus 1 o terms now again these are positive quantity okay so it will be less than 1 as n increases it keeps on decreasing no keeps on decreasing so it is a decreases as n increases so sequence a to a plus 1 is a monotonic monotonic decreasing sequence because as n increases means you are subtracting something is decreasing sequence and then what about this each term is positive because ns a to n these are all the terms which are greater than uh, this less than 1 and this is positive quantity which you are subtracting is it not so why it is uh, uh, positive Mon monotonic decreasing sequence which is greater than 0 why because monotonic decreasing is okay when n increases the term because if i take 1 minus half 1/3 minus 1/4 like this so then what happen to this last term will be what last term will be 1 by 2n plus 1 because when n is odd this term will be positive so last term will be this this is positive so it means this sequence is greater than 0 so a sequence is a monotonic decreasing sequence whose lower bound is greater is greater than 0 so limit exists so it will be convergent sequence it will be convergent sequence is it not it will be convergent sequence okay so the sequence with the even number of terms is a convergent sequence sequence with the odd number of terms is also convergent then whether this will give the same limit or not because one may got some other limit and may get other limit but but mod a n 2 n plus 1 minus a n what is this a 2 n plus 1 minus a 2 n if i find out this difference then this difference comes out to be what a 2 n will be this term a 2 n plus 1 will be up to here so only this term will be left out 1 by 2 n plus 1 and now this goes to zero as n is sufficiently large it means both the sequence are basically identical sequence so this implies the limit of a to n plus 1 over n will be the same as the limit of a to n over n okay limit of this and it will exist limit will exist and lying between 0 and 1 okay this limit the limit of this sequence limit of this 1 minus half plus 1/3 minus so and so forth plus minus 1 to the power n minus 1 to the power n as n tends to infinity is denoted by log of 2 to the base okay this we do not in fact it will be do not prove to be log 2 so this limit exist i uh, said then uh, that's all now let's come from some test is there okay which is important also for ratio test hmm. so okay sometimes let's one more example let's take and then what oh, ratio test is okay ratio test now so far what we have seen is a given sequence is given then by hook and crook by some other means we before getting the limit we wanted to make sure the limit exist or limit does not exist then what we do is we try to justify or try to find out whether the sequence is a monotonic sequence or uh, monotonic increasing bounded or monotonic decreasing bounded below 
then we say limit will exist. But if the sequence is monotonic increasing and unbounded, then limit will be plus infinity and like the minus infinity. So, basically we are trying to get the limit by using our tricks thing, but the term the sequence it may be very complicated terms. So, once it is a very complicated term, this type of trick may not help you much, it will time consuming. So, without going through this process, can you just identify whether the given sequence is a convergent sequence or diverging sequence and that for that we require certain test. So, those test one of the test is the ratio test, there are others also, but we are it stick with the, we stick only for the ratio test. So, first ratio test is <coughs> if n if the sequence n if n is positive means term of the sequence is positive and the limit of this ratio and the limit of a n plus 1 y n as n tends to infinity is L, where L is greater than 1, then the sequence n will diverge and the limit will be plus infinity. So, you need not to go through anything, just you find the ratio of this and take the limit as n is sufficiently large. If the limit comes out to be L which is greater than 1, then it will diverge, otherwise it will converge. Okay? So, let us see the proof of this. Okay. What is given is given limit of this sequence a n plus 1 y n over n is L. So, by definition the a n plus 1 y n will lie between L minus epsilon L plus epsilon L for n greater than or equal to n naught. Is it not? When limit a means n for a given epsilon L. So, for given epsilon L greater than 0 there exist n naught such that mod of this thing mod of n plus 1 y n minus l is less than epsilon l for n greater than n naught is it not. So, there will exist some n naught depending on epsilon l. It means the term this thing lies between l minus epsilon l, l plus epsilon l. Okay. So, this shows that a n plus 1 y n is greater than l minus epsilon l for n greater than or equal to n naught. Okay. Now, given L is greater than 1, it is given, given L is greater than 1, can you not choose epsilon L such that L minus epsilon L is also greater than 1? There is a gap, this is 1, this is L. So, L is strictly greater than 1. I choose epsilon L in such a way, so that the L minus epsilon L is also greater than 1. Okay. So, from here we get that a n plus 1 is greater than L minus epsilon L into a n, which is greater than 1. Now, this is true for all n greater than or equal to n naught. Okay. So, suppose I start with this n, it is greater than L minus epsilon L into L minus epsilon L a n minus 1. Is it not? Because n, n if substitute n is equal to n minus 1, then again greater than like this. So, what happened? This will be L minus epsilon L up to say uh, term n minus this thing, is it not? Total term is n naught. So, n minus n naught, if I just write, then we get n minus n naught into a n naught. Keep on just substituting the value means a n minus 1 replaced by a n minus 2, a n minus 2 replaced by a n minus up to a n minus n minus naught up to a n a n minus n minus n naught. So, n minus n naught comes here and this comes out to a naught. Now, this is greater than 1. Okay. Now, this can be written as what? Can you say this is equal to L to the power n into a constant term say a L minus epsilon L sorry I will just write this is equal to 
l minus epsilon l to the power n into a constant terms a we are what is a a is equal to what a n naught a n naught divided by l minus epsilon l n naught because l is fixed epsilon l is also fixed so l minus epsilon l is fixed n naught is fixed so this is a fixed value so a n naught is fixed so a is fixed now once a is fixed and this i am taking l minus n so as n tends to infinity what happened this keeps on increasing so this limit will go to plus infinity because this is greater than because l minus epsilon is strictly greater than 1 so this limit goes to increasing infinity okay so if l is greater than 1 the this sequence will diverge now second test says second part of this the second part says that if this is uh, less than 1 if this limit if limit of this as n tends to infinity a n plus 1 y n this limit is l where l lies between minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 n plus 1 then the limit of this sequence a n as n tends to infinity will be 0 no, yes limit n will be 0 ok this we want to again the proof will be on the parallel lines but what we will do it here is instead of taking this side now we will take this side ok I will take this side and because l lying between minus 1 to plus 1 so i will use the model here okay so followed on the similar pattern the proof is on the previous line on the same lines as used previously okay we can say that an plus 1 by an this thing is mod of this is less than mod l plus epsilon l okay for n greater than or equal to n naught where where uh, previous choose epsilon l epsilon l greater than 0 such that mod l plus epsilon l is strictly less than 1 okay clear and then from here what we will do this shows that mod a n plus 1 is less than some number k this is number k is it not k and then mod of n now this will be keep on increasing like this and finally what we get this is to uh, get less than a, a times k to the power n for n large is it not a not for n we are where a is equal to what a is nothing but mod a naught divided by k n naught just like you know previous so i am not doing now k is less than one this k is less than one so as n tends to infinity this limit a n goes to zero. 0 because k is less than 1 so this so limit will be one, 0 okay so a n's limit will go to 0 <laughs> now what happens to that if suppose i take because here in the ratio test i have taken this condition if n's are positive then this happens l ratio of this is l greater than 1 sequence will diverge when l lying between minus 1 to plus 1 the sequence will die. in fact when n is positive this l this ratio of this part n over n plus 1 we will always get the positive terms okay now if l the terms are negatives then if they are having the same sign then i can remove the sign and get the results but if the terms are alternatively positive negatives then in that case we have to see the other results because this result is not true for n's to be the negatives okay ratio test is always applicable 
when the sequence is having the same sign. So, I can remove the sign and apply because the behavior of the sequence convergence or divergence of behavior of the sequence does not depend on the sign of the sequence because if all the terms are the positive sign or if all the terms are negative sign then both will sequence will behave properly in same way because if the first sequence convert diverges other will diverge only thing is one will go to plus infinity this will go to minus infinity if one first sequence converges limit converges converges to a another sequence will converge to the limit minus a but the mixed type of the terms will not help you this ratio test may not be used applicable will not help both sequence when the terms are alternately positive negative and so on. So, all the terms should be there. So, that is the one reason. So, I think this uh, we will just uh, stop it and then we will see how the this result can be used to compute the complicated limits the complicated limits how does this follows. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay.